Hey guys, this morning I got a message from one of my online students. He said, hey, I'm playing this tournament and I'm playing a number of opponents that are 200, 300, 400 points better than me. Should I play very aggressive? What should my mindset be? How should I approach these matches if I'm going to beat these opponents that are much higher level than me? Well, I actually have kind of a depressing message, not just for you, but for a lot of people that are trying to beat higher level opponents. And that is, it oftentimes involves the higher player playing bad. Now, the higher player oftentimes plays bad, but still wins. Why? Because 90% of the lower players, when they're playing somebody higher, they overdo it. They feel they have almost 0% chance to win. So they go for wild shots. They go for shots that they haven't practiced, and they really just overplay it because they don't think they're in the same league as that higher level opponent. Typically, the upset happens when the higher level opponent plays bad. So we're not just sitting back looking for wishful thinking, like I hope that higher level player plays bad. No, the lower player has to put himself in the position to win when the higher player plays bad. Ask Hanak, ask Lily, ask any top player, when you play against a lower player, do you really even have to play? And usually the answer is no. The lower player usually self-destructs. They don't think that they're in that same league as the higher level player. So what do they do? They go for wild shots. They play outside of their playing system. They overdo it and they just self-destruct. So you as the lower player, when you're playing somebody higher, what do you want to do? Well, start off the match playing within your level. What you normally do, normal serves, normal receives, normal aggressiveness, normal distance from the table, normal timing, normal everything, and then see how the match goes. If the match is going in the favor of that higher level opponent, then what do you have to do? You have to take measured risks. Now, what's measured risks? This is not just closing your eyes and swinging. This is saying, hey, there are certain shots that maybe I would not play that early a timing, or I wouldn't play that wide, or I wouldn't give that much variation, and I'm going to need to today. So let's say, for example, the higher level player plays his strongest loop deep into your back end. Is that one that you should probably pay pivot and just play full power counter loop? Probably not. Maybe backhand block in that situation would be appropriate. What happens if the higher player gives you a high ball? Should you go for that one? Sure, but you normally go for that one anyway. So we're not talking about extremes here. We're not talking about extremely difficult or extremely easy. We're talking about the gray area kind of in between. When you serve and they push that half long ball to your forehand and usually you spin up, today you're going to have to take a little bit more risk. So maybe you play earlier timing and a little bit stronger and a little bit wider. You know, the guy normally when he loops to your middle, normally you play passive backhand block. Maybe today you're going to have to play a little bit more counter loop from middle. So the gray area is kind of that you could be playing more aggressively, but you oftentimes don't. Maybe you're going to have to take more risk and play a little more aggressively, or maybe a little more variation, or maybe a little bit better location, maybe a little bit deeper or a little bit wider. But start off the match. Start off the match playing your normal game, your normal level, and see how it goes. As the match progresses, then shot by shot, you may need to take more risk in order to pull off that upset against the higher level opponent. Last thing before I let you go here is that you don't want to take each game separate. You want to take each point or specifically each hit separately. So let's say, for example, your normal game doesn't work the first game. We don't go ultra high risk the second game and then ultra safe the third game. No, it's measured risk shot by shot based on what's actually coming. If you just play one game way too passive and one game way too active, we're not putting enough pressure on them on this game, and then we're making too many errors this, this game. So really, point by point, shot by shot, work the point, play your normal game, and take a little bit more risk if it calls for it. But until it calls for it, until that higher player is actually beating you, you don't need to take too much risk. You need to play within your normal game. Playing within your normal game actually puts more pressure on that higher level player than swinging wild. I'm Samson Davina. 
Thanks for watching this. If you're seeing this on YouTube, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below and turn on the bell for more notifications. I'll see you soon.